Friday to everybody. We made it through the week, uh, peak season. And I don't know if I record the video regarding this, but we'll do it again, why not? People actually, uh, I have quite a few viewer views regarding UPS mechanic. And I record quite a few videos regarding. So it's uh, 10 of two in the morning. Uh, almost two o'clock in the morning, I just came back from different center and uh, somebody asked me, hey, the facility you guys in, do you guys go help the other center? Yes, I'm the sucker who ended up doing it. But I really don't mind it because that guy who left a comment under one of the videos, seems like he didn't like it. And I will explain why I don't mind it to go from center to center. First of all, you have a travel time, but I drive my own personal vehicle, which is all, I don't have to. I can actually take either a package car, the brown truck or one of their vans. But I got my toolbox back there. And uh, the reason I like it, like right now it's two o'clock in the morning, I came back from the other center and I just went in in the computer, did my time card, punch out, and I left my toolbox in, uh, in the back of my van. So I don't have to worry about it uh, to unloading. And the uh, problem is we don't have a very good forklift. So it's a kind of two man job to unload a toolbox. And when you buy yourself, I don't want to take a risk. So it's a safety issue. Yeah, I sound like a, um, you know, what? But, uh, so you come in, punch in at your center, then you load whatever you gotta load, then you go to the other center. My goodness, toolbox a little loose. So then you do whatever you gotta do uh the other center you help them out and then you come back so uh does ups treat you well actually type it in the and ask uh internet is ups treats their employees well my goodness i got so much negative the people complain about how crappy the ups treats their employees so me being self-employed in my life uh, I think I was treating myself worse working for myself than UPS is treating me now. Uh, yes, the facility is crap. Uh, yes, the, uh, we don't have top-notch technology, tooling, whatever, the special tool, tools. We don't have uh, lifts for the vehicles. We do a lot of the work on the floor. But uh, the attitude and uh, support to me, it seems really good. I don't know, maybe the reason why I get in, get along with the supervisors, I got, but I kind of learned over the years, uh, it's hell of a lot easier to bitch. Did I say that? It's hell of a lot easier to complain about the things than the solve, than the solve the things, like to fix things or not to be a problem creator. So I always told myself, and though I'm still a human being at the end of the day, uh, once in a while, once in a while, I like to complain about things. But overall, I keep repeating in my head: don't be a problem creator, be a problem solver. And for some reason, my toolbox loses. Um, so, and that's actually what I'm bounce off of it. I've tried to be a problem solver, and that's why it comes down to be: I really don't mind it to go help different center. And those sets me back on my work, on my inspections, my oil changes, but whatever. So I've been told today, uh, you know, since we're in the peak time, so somebody not familiar and that watches this video for the first time, when is the most busiest time for the UPS? Uh, it is a peak time. It's uh, right after Thanksgiving and pretty much up to the new year. That's the busiest because every is by everybody's buying packages, uh, presents, and becomes more packages, and uh, there's more stuff moving, everybody's working, uh, everybody's delivering more packages throughout the day than an, on the average. Uh, they're delivering more packages in the season, in the peak season, than it is uh, in uh, off season, I would say. So the vehicles, they get more abused, uh, drivers don't take care of them as much. So you have a lot more uh, 
dumb breakdowns but if you stay on top of them throughout the year you usually don't have really big breakdowns uh, during the peak time that's the goal accomplished you're always going to have some minor little things uh, there's not going to be a day where you show up to work and there's really nothing to do like there's always things to do there's always going to be overhead door overhead back door cables bulkhead door uh, ignition switch key fobs uh, flat tires uh, some brakes will come close anyways there's always something to do but it's been uh, not quite two years for me no regrets i actually was driving today down the interstate at one o'clock in the morning it's almost two again uh, and i see the drivers big semi trucks that's what i used to do um going down the road and i've been on the other side of the window and i know some guys like i one guy passed me and his license plate from new york so obviously he's not going home he's going away from home and it's a really really hard life to live in a truck and when you in it i'm kind of got off track here when you in it you don't realize till you get out and you can refilter your life so right now i thank god i had opportunity and i got i got this job offer i don't like it every day the majority of the time it's pretty well but i'm glad i have this job so uh especially economy right now is going in the gutter um people actually losing their jobs because there uh, seems like a, um, more and more layoffs going on but anyways uh, I can go on and go on forever but yes we do go between the centers to help out and I'm one of those guys who actually does it because not every mechanic likes to travel to different center but I set myself up that's why I got a van that's why I got a smaller toolbox and uh, it works for me very well. Thanks for watching all.